Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars The Old Republic video. And today we are going over some of the changes that we see with the new patch 4.7 because this patch has brought us a lot of cosmetic changes, a lot of changes with the user interface, with how packs look, with just how regular items look. And I want to go over some of the ones that I have just noticed initially uh, right off the bat. Uh, first of all, as you guys can see, the cartel market sign has changed. Now it's up here much smaller and it's next to this cartel market item stash. So obviously this is associated with the new pack opening user interface. So this will work just normally. You open it up, you see all the cartel market sales. With the item stash, this is something that is legacy wide accessible and this will contain up to 250 items that you got just from opening packs. Now I have a ton already in my item stash, I have 105 items and actually it's a lot more but similar items will stack. So for example I had 11 Imperial Field Agent Upper Body Armor. When you click on this it will show you what the, what the armor looks like which is awesome and I have 11 of them but they've all stacked so it only counts as one item. So that is a really good quality of life improvement. But you guys might be wondering, why do I have so many of these already? Well, the thing is, I haven't opened any packs. But for those of you who keep up to date with my channel and what I do, I open a, when I open a pack, I will not take the items out of the pack. So I'll just have the single pack sitting there with four items in it. That's what I do to conserve cargo space. And then when I'm ready to sell those items, that's when I'll open them, take out the items, throw them on the GTN. Well, what ended up happening was, when the new pack was released, I literally had cargo bays full of those items. Okay, all these cargo bays did not have these items in it. They just had the single packs sitting there, but they all automatically opened when the new patch happened, and all those items got transferred to my item stash. So that all automatically happened. So if you had any packs that you were just sitting there waiting on and you hadn't collected the items from those packs, they if you if they were um already opened beforehand, you just hadn't um collected the items, then they automatically became opened when the pack was released. Hopefully that makes sense. I know I'm stumbling a little bit on my words uh, to try to get that out. Okay, the other thing that I've seen right off the bat and that what you might have noticed is these will now stack, which is awesome. So any packs that you have not opened yet, you can now stack them. So I have 23 grand chance cubes here, but if I compact, okay, well, that didn't work. Try it again. All right, that might be a bug, but whatever. You can just stack them right like this. And, um, and all these items will stack. So that probably means you can just sell them as a straight up stack on the GTN as well. So I can now just sell 33 grand chance cubes instead of having to go individually and put up each grand chance cube for like 300,000 credits, which is once again another huge quality of life improvement. It's going to allow me to save up tons of cargo space. The other thing you might have noticed as I was running through my inventory full of these items is we have new animations for armor boxes which is absolutely amazing. Now I love it when Bioware does these small cosmetic changes. Some of you guys might not have known that these used to look pretty ugly but Bioware then changed it so that they look pretty cool. Now these handler licenses look a lot more awesome. In the same way now we have really cool looking armor boxes. So the upper body armor will contain that little image there. The, um, this is the supplementary body armor which will contain the belt. We have a lower body armor somewhere here. Yeah, here we have the lower body armor, so it looks a lot cooler. It emphasizes the items that come out of the pack. So, for example, the lower body armor will contain these um, these pants. And also, if you just open the box, it should just open normally. So it just acts like a normal box. All that's been changed is the image itself. But it looks a lot cooler, and I absolutely love it when Bioware does this kind of stuff. Because I think this game should look aesthetically pleasing, and when they do stuff like this, it just enhances the overall experience of having these items. And finally, what I want to do in this video is I want to test out the new pack opener. I will be doing, of course, a pack opening of the new Battler pack, and that video is yet to come. But I just want to do a quick one to see all the features to test them out, do an in-depth look at the features because when I do my pack opening the focus is going to be on the pack itself not on the new user pa uh, pack user interface. So let's let's see what happens. I haven't tested this out at all. I just got this super crate. I was sitting there on my unclaimed items pile and so I want to see how everything has changed, how it looks now when you want to open a pack. So right when you open the super crate they automatically stack which is awesome and now they only take up one um, they only take up one spot. Now if you do want to go ahead and sell this pack on the GTN, you can just split it and put it on the GTN as normal. Okay, there we go. 
So you can just split it like that, nothing changes, you have to wait for the cooldown timer to run out and you can just throw it on the GTN if you're looking to sell it. But if you're looking to open it, when I left click, it automatically goes to the pack viewer. So there's no like tab for the pack viewer, it's just when you have a pack and you left click it, that's when the pack viewer opens. And it lets you know about all the packs that you have. So for example, in my inventory, I have 33 grand chance cubes, as you guys had seen, now you can see it here and I can open them. And I have the visionary pack, I have 5 of them. So let's see what happens when I click open pack. Do one pack at a time. This cannot be undone. Okay. And that's a really neat looking animation. I love it. It doesn't take more time than what a normal pack opening would take. I know a lot of people have been saying this makes it less efficient. I honestly don't think it does at all. It doesn't really make pack opening less efficient. It just makes it so that instead of sitting there waiting for three seconds while your character does that little cheer with his hands up, you can now see a much cooler animation. And then I can click reveal all, but you can also just click it individually and see what you get out of there. So this is the first item. I have an advanced turquoise eviscerating crystal. It identifies it as an item modification. It also gives you how many of those you're getting. And then you have the companion gift. You have the scavenge scrap. And the wartime ambassador's upper body armor. So a few things I love about this is firstly, I... Uh, you know it shows you what the item is it has a little bit of a cooler image so this will show you what the crystal looks like rather than just having the crystal as an image and this will actually show you what the armor looks like but rather than just having that armor box so that's pretty awesome I think it's gonna follow this general rule so it will give you one item then it will give you a companion gift then it will give you the miscellaneous scavenge scrap and then it will give you another item uh, so that you know kind of what to expect you're not sitting there hoping you're gonna get an item and then it, it turns out it's a companion gift so that's the general rule I do believe it follows. Now I can click done which will just take me back to this screen or I could have clicked next pack. So I'll, I'll click never show that again because there's no need for that. So there was that cool looking pack opening animation. Now I can also use the reveal all which will just reveal them all at the same time for those people who are looking for a more efficient way to do things. This is uh, another crystal another Tempted Apprentice's lightsaber, and then uh, it actually switched. So I think in general you're going to get both of your items on the side there, but it doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be a companion gift, and that will be the scrap. In this case, it has switched around. So the scrap is over here, the companion gift is over here. Now instead of clicking Done, I, cut, no, I can also just click Next Pack and see what's in my next pack. Grand Chance Cube. Yes, interesting. I thought I'd get a Grand Chance Cube a lot earlier. Uh, there's a cool and inquisitor upper body armor. Cool. This is also going to make my pack openings, I think, a lot more fun, just in general. I kind of really like the way this looks and the way it feels. And it's actually not glitching out on me. So that's pretty cool. Okay, this is interesting. So I got both of my items together. So maybe it is random. That's annoying. I'd rather just know. I'd rather just have it in a, a simple. I know kind of when I click that little box thingy whether it's going to be an item or whether it's going to be a companion gift or something. Next pack. Now, I, I don't think it's a glitch, but they don't show you what the decoration looks like so I know they show you what the armor boxes look like so instead of just giving us a normal armor box they show us what the actual armor set looks like in this case it would have been nice if they had just done the same thing and shown us what the decoration looks like in a generic you know stronghold room or whatever but I guess they're just gonna show us this um, little stronghold image alright so that's it we're done with opening those packs so now we can go over to my item stash and the item stash will contain those items that I just opened now unfortunately it's a little bit messy right now because of all those packs that I just automatically opened but um, but it does have this nice little icon here which shows that you just recently got this item and then when you click on that item the icon is removed so I can just run through my item stash here and I can clearly see the new items which I got now I did get three medical centrifuges and they all stacked so it only counts as one item so my total item count went up from like 105 to 106. Not sure how that happened. I thought it would go up by more, but okay, whatever. So we have the Tempted Apprentice's lightsabers. Some of the other stuff I got. So I can go and check that out now and see. In total, I have 401 Grand Chance Cubes in my item stack. So if I did want to claim that, I could. 
I know that's a ton, but I hope in the time, I, I, I don't know if you guys know, but I bought like 15 to 16 disavowed hypercrates off the GTN. So I spent around 200 million credits doing that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make a huge profit off of that. But um, and it's probably it's mostly because of these grand chance cubes that pop out of them. They sell super well. So I can claim those and then I could probably open them if I wanted to. So it, and it shows you everything in the item stash. So. Um, you know all the scrap, all the companion gifts, and keep in mind I can access this from anyone uh, on my legacy. So I can access them on any character on my legacy, which is a very nice quality of life improvement. So those are some of the changes that I saw just right off the bat. I did want to just quickly test out the new pack opener. I did love the fact that it's not bugged because I was kind of thinking maybe it was going to be a little bugged, which would have ruined the new pack opening that I'm just about to do right now. But um, but it's not. And also, it has saved me a lot of cargo space. Normally, if I wanted to open five, I would probably have filled up quite a few of these slots. But now, it just hasn't messed around with my inventory whatsoever, which is very nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys will enjoy the new patch. I'll see you in the next one.